Ever since I was a child, when me and my family have driven past this waterfall on the main road towards our cabin in the mountains, I wondered what's on top of this waterfall. And today I'm gonna find out. These last six months I've been planning a video series about Norwegian waterfalls because as you may know I have a soft spot for running water, especially creeks, but I also have a place in my heart for waterfalls. And behind me now is one of Norway's biggest waterfalls. It's called Langfoss. Directly translated, that's a long waterfall, so <laughs> they were really created about that name. It's 612 meters high and I'm currently maybe one third of the way up. I'm bringing a lot of gear, so it's kind of a good old climb. I'm bringing a tent, sleeping bag, small kitchen, food, etc. because I'm gonna camp at the top and I'm gonna photograph the waterfall from the top if the weather allows it. And I'm gonna get up really early and I have a plan for the sunrise. But I need to know the lay of the land a bit better first. So I need to lay the final touches on that plan when I get to the top. On my map, uh, it says that there's a beautiful lake at the top. It doesn't say beautiful lake, but I'm pretty sure it's quite magical. And that's where I'm gonna put up my camp. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. I'm also a bit excited because this is the first hike, proper hike of the year. And that's always something to look forward to. So fingers crossed for good weather and a nice time up in the mountains in Norway. Hmm. All right, onwards and upwards. Something tells me that the views on this trip is gonna be really, really, really good. Coming from Svalbard, back to this, back to this lush green spring up in the mountains. It's, it's almost like you can say I've been pining for the fjords. <laughs> there she is, there she is. I'm about halfway now, 300 meters to the top. And this is kind of one of the viewpoints. So I'm, I'm going off the beaten path to take a look, closer look at Langfoss. Maybe take an image if it's not too wet. We'll see, we'll see. That is something. Now this, this is a creek. <laughs> Woo! What a fantastic view and what a show. I can't stay here too long because I'm getting soaked to the bone because of all the whipped, whipped river. So I'm getting really, really wet and my camera is all wet and my lens is all wet. But I will try to take one image and then I'll move on because it's still a long way to the top. And I really enjoy a little birch down there through the water. So I'm gonna try and make something out of that. So I moved a bit away from the waterfalls because it, I became soaking wet. And I set up here and I'm using my 100 to 300 millimeter with a polarizing filter 
and I zoomed in directly on that birch I talked about. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying, I'm using burst mode because I want the tree kind of clear of water, but I want water coming in from the, the left side of the image, like whipping water. So that's what I'm trying to get, but it's not easy. So let's just take the image. So it's approximately 100 meters to the top and that is a good thing because I'm starting to feel a bit tired and I'm in a reasonably good shape. It's very steep, it's 612, 30 meters straight up and the minute you decide you're gonna tent, there's a whole nother level of equipment you need to bring. So my backpack is quite heavy, not to mention the camera gear. I tried my best to keep it to a minimum, but it still weighs me down. So I'm taking short breaks along the way, so I won't hit a wall. So far, so good. But I'm looking forward to get to the top and unload some of our things by that beautiful water. A bit of geography. This is Orkafjorden. The, uh, the, the fjord behind me is Orkafjorden, and we're currently now on a small little hill called Vara Haugen. That is approximately here. The goal of today is to go to this little lake here. All right, let's do it. Great minds think alike. There has been people there before me, and they set up a fire pit so this is perfect and the ground beneath me is quite dry as well so this is a splendid campsite so let's just pitch the tent tent is up, everything is ready for the evening, uh, but I'm completely famished, I'm drained of energy. So I'm just making an egg because I can't, I have no creativity left, I'm just completely drained, so I need to eat. But what a campsite! This is a beautiful campsite, I didn't think it would look like this, but this is really, really good, really, really interesting. So I'm looking forward to exploring it a bit more. Remember this? Svalbard. This is a far cry from that place. I don't have a lot of outdoors tips for you, but I have one tip. And that is when you're up and about in hotels and stuff like that, 
make a few of these. They're really handy on hikes if you want a quick cup of coffee. But don't nick the decaf ones, I've done that mistake. Later. <laughs> So this is it, this is the origin point of Langfoss and it's really really cool, it stretches all the way from this point all the way down into the final tip which is just down there. I'm gonna go and check it out now but I gotta be careful because my legs are a bit tired, I can feel that and I don't want them to fall here so I'm gonna take it extremely easy. This is incredible obviously i can't go further down because it's really slippery so obviously i couldn't stay up there i had to get down here but i'm i'm on safe ground don't worry mom don't worry i'm on safe ground this is incredible i'm not sure if i you can hear me but the the sound is so deafening it's just Majestic! What a view! Uh, it's like I'm on top of the world. I'm, I have, no, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. This is fantastic. hoping it comes through just how big this is <sighs> I'm knackered I'm gonna end this first episode here with these words I've wrote in my travel journal as I sit here eating my dinner I feel really really at peace but even though I wanted to be alone on this trip just hiking alone, I just can't stop thinking just how much I want to share this very experience with my wife, family or with my friends. Oh yeah, one last thing before I forget. Hey Stein, if you're watching this, you need to come along next time because this, this is a place for your drone. I dare you to bring your own tent. <laughs> Join me next Thursday as I tackle the sunset, sunrise and the way down towards home. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of each other and I'll speak to you again. Mr. Tosa.